Hi, it's Carrie. I'm doing another doodle tutorial here. Um, this time it's for Fiona the Hippo and this one's special for Lynn. She requested it and when she did I was really excited. Uh, Fiona the Hippo is in a whole bunch of books and picture books so go look her up if you don't um, already know who she is. So this sketching part is really about getting the shapes and um like the space in between that you want so i'm just mapping out where her eyes are going to be just a circle for the head and an oval for the muzzle area and now adding a little bit more detail to the shape for her top lips and none of these pencil marks have to be perfect and just go really really lightly and you can layer on top of the lines you like and here we're giving her a smile she's a happy hippo you can keep this a pencil sketch you could go over the pencil with paints or watercolor paints um color pencils you could go over it with a pen with ink and after it dries, you can go back and erase all of your pencil marks. So don't worry about getting it perfect. And here's some fun little freckles where her whiskers get, where her whiskers grow. And now for her eyes, she's got some shape around her eyes. So these are sort of like eyebrows bumpy areas there, making it a little bit darker towards the outside so she doesn't look grumpy. And I'm doing a, there's a guideline that's very, very faint that connects the two. Um, but as you can see, they're not, they're not the same angle or shape really, but we're gonna go with it, keep going. And now i um, doing some big dark eyes. I've got a rectangle in the top and a tiny circle on the bottom, and I'm going to um, fill in around those shapes to leave white space for a highlight so there can be some life in the eyes, um, some light reflecting. Now I'm adding a little straight line and another straight line just to give a nice, shape for her eye. This is the top eyelid and the bottom eyelid. Very subtle little lines and eyelashes top and bottom. I think my eyes would have come out more similar if I had done um, the circles, one circle and the other circle, one highlight and the other highlight fill it in and fill the other one in, eyelashes, then the other eyelashes, instead of completing one eyeball and going to the next. Um, but as it is, I just, I'm still happy with how it came out. Uh, they still look good and she's adorable. So yeah, everything in the sketch is really, really light, except for when I'm happy with the shape of the eye, I'll go in and, and darken it up nice big dark eyes and here i'm adding a little point to the circle really a subtle difference in the shape and the eyelashes or the um the eyelids are pretty small three little eyelashes down on the bottom actually pretty big eyelashes exaggerated them. I think it looks beautiful with the exaggerated really big eyelashes. Now the ears are right above the eyes. And I've got two diagonal lines coming right out of the circle that I have for her head. And I've got two C curves and connect them for the ear. And you can add some shading if you like. Here's another C curve. 
see I go over the same shape over and over lightly and slowly emerges the shape I was going for. Connect those ears there for the top of her head. I'm following the circle lines for the sides near her eyes and now down by her mouth I'm going outside of my sketch circle to make her cheeks wider. They're all really open C curves. Now I'm adding some very light C curves under here for her her chin and neck. And you can go back and erase anything you like or keep this pen pencil sketch just how it is. I'm only going to take out a couple lines um, here and there. But I think I'm just going to keep it pencil. I don't think I'm going to go over this one in ink. You can spend much more time on this if you want to and do shading um, to really shape out the muzzle going up to the eyes or um, the sides of her face. There's lots of opportunity for details if you want to spend that time. There she is, Fiona. And we'll just do some fun little boxy letters like I used to do in my notebooks at school. <laughs> and with these, the less perfect, the better. Because I don't want it to look like I tried really hard. There she is, Fiona. Thanks. Have fun drawing. I'd love to see your pictures. Bye.